Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja, and today I briefly want to talk about as to why it is hard for me sometimes to answer certain kinds of questions through the comment section. And I think it's important to explain this because, you know, sometimes it might come across as if I'm not being generous with my answers or as if I'm not really being very responsive to your comments. Okay, sometimes I would have a video on any concept or something and I would get a question which is a deeply philosophical question. And of course the nature of comments on YouTube is that you can't really get involved in deeply philosophical conversations. So most of the times if you pose a question that is complex and that requires a detailed answer, chances are I will not be able to answer those questions in the comments. Now if I have time, and of course if I know something about the question that you posed, I might eventually record a video on it. But most of the times I will avoid trying to answer a deeply philosophical question through comments, and so my apologies for that. Then sometimes questions that are posed uh, have a completely different intent. So for example, let's say I have a video on Paulo Freire's Pedagogy of the Oppressed, the Banking System of Education, in which I try to explain my understanding of the banking system. And someone would pose a question, can you list 10 things that Freire says in that chapter? Now that's obviously someone who has either not watched the video, have not probably read the chapter, but more importantly, it's probably someone who has an assignment in which they had been asked to list 10 points from Freire's chapter 2, and maybe they think that if I list for them, they can use that. And it's cynical of me to think that, but I have been told that it happens sometimes. So when a question like that comes up, I usually just say, please read the chapter, watch the video, and then you will find out more than 10 things in a given chapter. So that's one time when I will not be able to and I would like not to answer a question. Then the most important and the hardest for me to handle is when someone poses a question, I am trying to write a dissertation, I'm trying to write a thesis, here is my topic, is this a good topic? Now that is a question that is impossible for me to answer. First of all, the moment you pose that question to me, I cannot answer that question without doing some research. So that means you're asking me to do your research. Two, what do I mean by research, right? That if you pose a topic, I have to go look up and see who has written about it, what's the argument about this topic, where is a lack, where I can enter the conversation, which is your job and your supervisor's job. But most importantly, the reason I can't answer this question also is because I don't know you as a scholar or as a student. I don't know what your level of education is, how advanced you are in your studies, what have you read, what have you talked about in your classes. So it is in a way impossible for me to give you any constructive advice. That's why most of the times when I get a request like that in the comments, I tell the person that I'm sorry, I cannot answer it, but here is my generic video about how to come up with a dissertation topic. Here is my generic video about how to come up with a paper topic, but please contact your supervisor and they are the only ones who can really help you formulate a thesis topic or a dissertation topic. Now sometimes I get a comment back where the people would tell me, oh, my supervisor doesn't respond to me and of course I understand that. And I would like to request all of you who are supervisors are to please work with your students, answer their questions, right? They shouldn't have to come to YouTube to Professor Raja to get their basic questions answered. 
And then lastly, one kind of comments, which are not necessarily questions, but they are someone, you know, trying to get involved in a confrontational conversation, someone who may not like my views. I will not get engaged in a discussion or debate like that, okay? I would either ignore that comment or if it is too offensive to me and, you know, the subscribers to this channel, I will hide it. Okay, I have no time to try to convert people or to argue with them back and forth, you know, through the comment section. So overall, deeply philosophical questions, I think they cannot be handled in the comment section. And I'll try to either address them through a new video or through a webinar. Questions that are obviously looking for some shortcut to a homework or a class assignment, I will not answer those questions. I'll point you to the reading materials and whatever you can watch on my channel. And three, questions about research topics or whether this is a research topic or that is a good research topic, I can't really answer that. Those because obviously I don't have the sufficient data to really help you well, but also I might not have time because remember, I have students of my own. And beyond that, just keep in mind that this is not the only thing I do, right? I have a full class load. I have a full research uh, responsibility. And what I do here on this channel is to try and find some time every now and then to share, you know, whatever little I know as a mode of public service. And I think you just take these videos, they are not an end in themselves, they don't answer all the questions, but my hope is that it would become a beginning point and then you will go and explore further. So these are some of the things that I wanted to share because I have been getting, you know, quite a lot of positive response from all of you and sometimes it is hard to explain as to why can't I help you with your question and with your research project. So I thought I owed it to you to at least clarify some of that. Now, please also note that I haven't been recording a lot lately. Part of it is because of my professional engagements, but part of it was also because I was waiting to set up a home studio. And finally, now that I've done that, I am now probably going to start recording more regularly and share my ideas and thoughts with you. Let me know what you think, and you know, if you have any good suggestions, please send them my way. And as always, I'm grateful for your support, and I hope you all are staying safe, and I hope, you know, you're taking care of yourselves and others around you. Please continue to do so. I will now see you next time. Until then, as always, peace and love.